everyone, so I am outside Barnes & Noble and I'm here to pick up Michelle Fon's new books. So here is Michelle Fon's new book uh, called Makeup, Your Life Guide to Beauty, Style, and Success Online and Off. So I am going to read it. However, if you don't have your copy yet, keep watching till the end so I can tell you where you can get it for 30% off the list price. I bought the book because I'm a fan of hers. So if you're looking for a makeup book, you'll have to decide for yourself if this is the best book for you. It's definitely not the first makeup book that I've read. So I would say the target audience for this book from my point of view is from high school to college and the table of contents, it covers life background to skincare savvy to turning your passion into profession, which didn't apply so much for me since I've already have my profession as a teacher. So as you can see, I've tabbed a bunch of pages so I could quickly go through um, the pages that I want to show you as fast as I can. So this part is her, my life so far part one. She talked about her parents struggle and some personal folk so, talked about her real name which was Tiet Vong which translates as snow that has exploded an avalanche and she said that it is an unstoppable force. I know I'm such a dork. I've already highlighted things. I like doing that. She said she was born in Boston. Um, her parents split up and her mom remarried and she has a beautiful sis little sister now. She talked about getting bullied. My life so far, part two, from Lady Gaga to Angelina Jolie. On this part, it talked about how she received an honorary doctorate of arts degree from Ringling College, which is in Sarasota, Florida. This is the section on makeup basics and beyond. Hair and nails know-how. Her mom owned or worked in a nail shop when she was younger. Fashion tips and tricks. Page 120, you'll find dressing for different occasions. Wedding, funeral, first date. Teacher. This is one of my favorite parts of the book. It's called Digital Do's and Don'ts because in our day and age when everyone can be so consumed with technology, we can all use these gentle reminders with things like replying promptly, oversharing, and Creating your online persona. Online persona is the image or the personality that you are projecting online. It says here that um, if you're always posting inconsequential statuses and goofy photos, people will think of you as silly. You might be more serious minded in real life, but today people form opinions of us based on our social media activity. Take a good look at your profile and what you post. If you were a stranger, what assumptions would you make about you? What is your online reputation? She says, consider posting content that has value. By that, I mean content that interests and intrigues people and keeps them coming back for more. Reground a beautiful photo instead of posting another cat photo or a silly picture of your roommate. Link to an interesting article instead of posting what you ate for breakfast, unless what you ate was a work of art. Celebrate your friends or family members' accomplishments instead of always talking about yourself. Here's a fun little activity. It says, let's play a game. Want a free meal? Make all your friends stack their phones on the table and include yours too. Whoever picks up the phone first pays. Happy chatting. The last favorite part that I will share is this modern manners made easy. She talks about something you would think is a common sense, but trust me, I know many people who could learn from this. On page 208, it says that the first thing you need to have is situational awareness. That simply means taking in the environment around you and quickly processing the rules of behavior for that situation. It's about taking off your blinders and observing how other people act in a certain situation. You can learn a lot when you are observed. Sometimes the rules of behavior are right in front of us. We just need to take the time to see them. Some people are blessed with great situational awareness. 
Others need to work at it or be told what the exact rules of behavior are. The book has a little section called Ask Michelle and it asks questions like what color makes you happiest, who inspires you, what book do you love, what music do you like to listen to the most, um, what is the most amazing place you visited, how do you unwind, do you get stressed out, do you have a motto, what's your favorite flower, lotus, over here in the back. So if you wanted to get 30% off of the book, a Target, it is 30% off of the cover, which anyway, I hope you guys can still get it there. And overall, I've enjoyed the book because it's an easy read. I also think that the book is well made. It's hardcover, it's glossy. There are, but overall, I recommend the book.